The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros. Turkey out of chic again. Sorry, man. It just this is this is the news. This is what happens when you take over everything and you're involved in everything. You become Come up story. Mm-hmm. Turkey Alashik says he will make official offers to Canelo and Crawford to fight each other next. So that's what he said. Now we're going to take a look at the report and the source. So here we go. All right. So here it is. Uh, the source is Mike Coppinger, and it states His Excellency Turkey Alashik has confirmed that he intends to make Canelo Alvarez an official offer for the Terrence Crawford fight next. End quote. I will give Canelo what I think is a fair price. If he accepts it, he deals directly with me to finish the deal. I don't want to. I don't want anyone in the middle. I guarantee Crawford a big fight. I want Canelo for Crawford, and Crawford wants Canelo. But if Canelo is crazy with his financial demands, I will still guarantee Crawford any fight he wants. So that's what uh, Turkey Alashik said. Trill dollar bill. Um, <laughs> What's your reaction to that, man? <laughs> One thing that I said was good about Turkey Alashi. You know what I'm saying? He's he he's willing to put up the money for the fights that the fans want to see. But then he loses me. He could only deal with me. <laughs> to me. <laughs> I need all his numbers, his social, we got a FaceTime. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just Listen, um, if you make, if you, all you can do is make the offer. If they take it, they take it. I think it's dope that he wants to give Crawford some bread and, uh, and Canelo some bread. Let him make the offer. Let him make an offer. It's free money. Well, not free money. Messing with Alice Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing free when you mess with Alice Sheik. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, um, he said he got to deal directly through me. He got to go through me. He got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Hold on, Trill. Let me just read the quote to you again, real quick. Hold on. If he accepts, he deals directly with me to finish the deal. I don't want anyone in the middle. <laughs> 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 you gotta pay attention to everything the turkey Alice she says <laughs> in the contract <laughs> no middle <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want contact direct contact <laughs> oh, oh, <man>. <laughs> I'm, I'm done on the Alice she until I get this video done surviving out of sheet. It's just coming, folks. <laughs> Look, again, this is what I'm talking about when I say that um, you talk about someone who has all the gear, but they don't know how to rock it right. Um, he wants to make Canelo Crawford. And I do think that's a big fight. And I'm not opposed to it. But the reality is for Canelo Alvarez, if he beats Crawford, he's not going to gain much. People are going to say he beat the smaller guy who had to move up in weight. And everyone's going to say Crawford dared to be great. So Crawford has everything to gain and nothing to lose, really. Um, Yeah, you could say he's going to lose to Canelo. But those who really know are going to be like he dared to be great because that's really what it is. He took on a challenge, a, a dangerous challenge, a difficult challenge. We saw Jamel get in there and shell up, was afraid to throw a punch. So I think Crawford would definitely do a better job. I think Crawford has a good chance to win. He has all the skills. But again, you're talking about just as much as he has a chance to win, he can get hurt, he can get caught, and he can get stopped. Like, that's the danger fighting Canelo Alvarez. But the fight to make that people would want to see, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't done a poll I don't know which fight would sell more, but David Benavidez Canelo, right? If he makes that fight, that would be more of a fair fight and one that would would help Canelo's legacy. Although personally, I feel like if Canelo beats David Benavidez, people are going to find a way to discredit him and say, who was David beat? David really wasn't that good. 
People say crazy stuff. They'll be like, he waited till David was washed up. <laughs> After his fight with Goose Deck or whatever. People say crazy stuff. But my point is, I don't necessarily know if making that fight is having your pulse on what the people want, on what the fans want. Because it has been said in this market in boxing is the Latin American market. Uh, you know, so again, if they're going to come out and pay for that, that fight, it still may be the most lucrative fight to make. And it still may be the fight that most people are demanding. But again, Turkey got all the gear. He got all the stuff. So he's he's the he's the one calling the shots. And like he said, you know, he's going to make Canelo offer that he thinks is reasonable. And if Canelo accepts it, he has to deal directly with him. Now, think about this. All these promotional companies just signed their partnership deals with Turkey. Turkey's the one backing it. Turkey's the man. Relinquished all their power. So now Turkey gets to tell all these promotional companies, stand down, stand down, stand down. Right? But who is Canelo currently signed with? PC, right? So he doesn't want PBC to have any. Canelo, Canelo signed with PBC right now, the one promoter who's not in Turkey Al Sheik's pockets. And he's saying he deals directly with me. I don't want anyone in the middle. How realistic is that? From, from the jump, how realistic is that? The one man who's not in your pockets, you want him to stand down. He's going to make the offer directly to Canelo, blah, blah, blah. This is the, you got to see the smoke before it even, like, you got to see the game, the gimmick, the everything. So the one guy who's not in his pockets better stand down and just let you talk directly to this fighter. He signed to a deal. Look, at the end of the day, Turkey Alashik, I'm okay with him funding fights. If that's what he wants to do. If he wants to be the super fan who funds the fights, I'm okay with him getting returns on his investment for funding the fights. But calling the shots in boxing, I'm not so sure that that's the best thing for boxing. If he can make Canelo Crawford ha happen, great. But I'm not so sure that's the best fight to make with Canelo if you want to spend the bucks. But I'm not mad at anyone for getting their bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care about him being the sugar daddy. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. I'm the Commissioner Tro Dollar Bill. That's my brother Caden. It's LLG for life. We the box we love.